Light blue face masks are a dime a dozen, but other colors and patterns can be near impossible to find. In recent days, some enterprising individuals have made cash waiting in line to buy unusual masks on behalf of a busy client. This job doesn't require much besides being present, but it's better to steer clear if you want a quick buck. For the rarest masks available on the market, the lines can last as long as 24 hours. Colorful masks are for sale at this shop, drawing a serpentine queue. Many of those waiting outside could, in fact, be professional line sitters. Their services can be had for 200 to 300 NT an hour. For example, queues for orange masks, pink masks, and camouflage masks can last between five and six hours. So the fees would be between 1,000 NT and 1,200 NT. For rarer designs, they can be as long as 12 hours or a whole day. You might need to stake out a place in line the night before. That's a more expensive service. Some line sitters camp outside the shops at night, enduring mosquitoes. This is work that's attracted students and older women keen on earning extra cash. If they have to camp out at night, of course they go prepared. They might bring a small stool, a phone, a battery pack. They might need an umbrella. Rumor has it that some professionals take shortcuts to conserve manpower. First, one sitter shows up to wait in line. When the time to purchase draws near, a large group of people will turn up to join the original sitter, effectively cutting the line. I've seen that before. One person was in line and then a car pulled up and out came out an army of grannies. That can be frustrating for the shop and other customers. The more common way to deal with this is having the shop take care of it. The pandemic is still raging abroad and mask wearing is enforced in many places in Taiwan. As demand rises for stylish, colorful masks, line sitters are doing brisk business.